Hello, hello, my preschool friends. Welcome to another fabulous day in the art room. All right, we are now in December. Yes, December. It's getting colder outside. Okay, uh, what we're going to be doing today um, is one of my favorite uh, crafts that I like to do with my preschool friends, with my four-year-old friends. I usually start by reading, and I can't read, obviously, uh, the books on here on YouTube because that would violate copyright, but I can recommend them to you because they are fabulous books. So uh, try to find these at your local library um, or, you know, wherever you like to get your books from. Uh, but... Uh, I usually start by reading to them The Mitten, which is a classic. Um, uh, I have a pop-up version, so this is like a pop-up book. Um, but uh, they make The Mitten in many different uh, versions. Uh, it's a classic. Um, it's a classic Ukrainian folk tale. Uh, um, and uh, it's pretty cool. So I highly recommend check out The Mitten. All right. Uh, and what we're going to do to make the mitten all right uh we're going to start by we're actually the craft that we're going to make is we're going to make two little oh, here we go two little mittens all right two little mittens attached together all right so this is what we're going to do to get started you're going to need two pieces of paper all right i have color for construction paper it's up to you if you have uh just white paper and you want uh your child to start by just coloring in a white piece of paper that's a good way to start uh if you want to substitute instead of construction paper just have them use something to color it in with uh instead but Go ahead and get started, uh, get two pieces of paper. What you're gonna do first is go ahead and put uh, your child's hands down on one piece of paper like this. So they would be, the paper would be down on the table and their hands would be like this, okay? Uh, go ahead and take something to trace and go ahead and trace their little hands. And you're going to do it like a mitten. So instead of going through all the fingers, you're just going to go around and then over the, around the thumb. And it's going to look like this. All right. So go ahead and do that. Uh, you know, if you need a little assistance from somebody else in the room, um, go ahead and ask for any assistance there. My grown up friends, preschool's grown up friends. All right. There you go. So go ahead and you're going to get two mittens. All right. Two mittens. Okay. Next step, have you and your preschool are going to take the scissors and you're going to cut out the mittens, okay? So uh, once you've got this, go ahead and together, and you can, uh, if your preschooler is doing, has been doing fine with uh, cutting by themselves so far, uh, that's fine to just let them go. Uh, if it's something that you feel like maybe they need a little guidance, do a little bit of hand over hand where they're holding the scissors and you're just on top of their hand helping them kind of guide with the scissors. My preschool friends, remember you want your thumb on top and your fingers through the bottom and you're opening and closing the scissors with one hand, okay? All right, what we're going to do is we're going to drive the car on the road is what we call it. So uh, you guys remember this um, from uh, past uh, lessons. We're driving the car on the road, all right? So the scissors are the car and the road is that black line, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and put my car on the road and try to stay on that black line as you cut. I'm going to turn the paper is important that helps me so I'm with my other hand I'm holding the paper and I'm turning the paper as I am cutting all right it's okay if you get off of the road a little bit just put your put your scissors back on the road back on the black line and get back to it all right so I've got one mitten yes all right Keep your car on the road. If you get off the road, just back your scissors up and put them back on the black line, back on the road. No worries. You can make some beautiful mittens. These will be nice. You can hang these in your house. Hang these wherever you like. Hang these up against a window. That, that, that would look very pretty. Because we are responsible artists, we're going to go ahead and do what with the trash? We're going to throw it away. Yes, we always throw away our trash All right, when we're done. Yes, because responsible artists always clean up after themselves, so we put the trash in the trash can. That's right. So, you've got the mittens out. All right, next, we're gonna use the other piece of paper that you color in for the trim, all right? So for the trim, all right, we're gonna make this fluffy part. That's that fluffy little fur that's on the outside of the mitten, all right? To draw that, all right, on my paper, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go almost like a cloud. I'm going to do that twice. I'm basically drawing a little cloud, right? 
Same thing, I'm gonna go ahead and put the car on the road. Grown-ups, you might wanna help with this one. All right, but go ahead and cut out your little cloud trim. All right, once I've got that trim out, I'm gonna go ahead and glue the trim down at the opening of the mitten, so that would be down here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my glue. Remember, if you're rolling up a glue stick, you just want a little bit of it rolled up. If you roll it up all the way, it'll fall out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put on the trim one side of the trim has glue, one side does not. All right, so I'm gonna put glue on one side and then I'm gonna stick it down to the bottom of the mitten. Got one, all right? Do the same thing on the other side. Put some glue on one side of the trim and then stick it down to the mitten down here. All right, next step, okay, what I need to do. I've got two little mittens, but they're not connected. Oh my goodness! They're not connected. This is what I've got to do, all right? So in order to make my mittens work, all right, I'm going to go ahead and I need to take, you can use a hole punch, all right? If you don't have a hole punch, that's fine. I'll show you how to use it without, all right? Um, but I'm going to start by punching a little hole down here, all right? Take your mitten, punch that little hole, all right? Perfect. Okay, if you don't have a little hole punch, what you can do is you can take your scissors, all right, fold this thumb piece, so I'm holding the mitten like this, fold this thumb piece down a little bit and make the tiniest little snip. Make a little snip, and then that snip will create the little hole that we need to do the string, all right? You take the string, put the string through the hole, Go ahead and tie it. So I'm going to loop around and across like this. Pull through. Make a knot. Grown up, this is the part that you're, where you're going to help. I'm usually running around uh, helping my preschool friends attach the string to it. So I'm going through the hole and I show them this is a good learning process for them. So even though, even if I'm doing the tying for them, I'm showing them while I'm doing it. I'm kind of directing their attention to me while I'm saying, okay, look at what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this. I'm gonna go across, I'm gonna cross the two pieces of the yarn. I'm gonna put this end piece through, tighten it. I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna cross the two pieces of yarn, put the end piece through and tighten it. It's just good for them to kind of see that, All right? And that's how we end up with our mittens strung together. Yes? All right, next I'm gonna take the paper, the construction paper that I used, uh, that I haven't thrown away quite yet and cut out shapes in it. And that's up to you guys, have a little bit of fun there, cut out some different shapes. And these shapes will be what you glue on to decorate the mitten. So put a little bit of glue on it. You put different shapes on there. You could do as many of these as you want, right? So I glue some shapes onto the mittens to make some patterns on the mittens. And then, you know, if you got something to color in with, you could do that too, or you could add some designs onto the mittens by coloring. And voila, you've got some pretty mittens. All right, I hope you had fun making our preschool craft today. Don't forget to roll down that glue stick and put the cap back on so your glue doesn't dry out. All right, uh, you can also remember, you can substitute anything in this craft. Uh, you know, if you don't have the hole punch, like I talked about, just use your scissors, do that little snipping trick where you just uh, fold the thumb and then just do a little snip. Right to create a hole, um, you uh, can use pipe cleaners instead of string. Um, you know any kind of string will do really. Uh, so any kind of string that you have, um, you know if the paper, like I said, if you don't have colorful construction paper, you can just take uh, white paper and have them color it in. Um, and you can decorate how, your mittens, however, uh, whatever with whatever you got at home. All right, but these are nice little nice little preschool uh, mitten craft. Like I said, I highly recommend uh, reading the mitten to them. It's a classic um, and. Uh, uh, I'm sure that the library, uh, your local library, will definitely have a copy of this uh, for you to check out. And uh, I hope you guys uh, have a wonderful time uh, doing this craft. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. All right, bye!